This is the Nissan 1987 UD CMA. And somebody had mentioned the other day that CMA, I didn't know what CMA was, but apparently it stands for Carter Myers Automotive. It's a large truck or car rental lease company. I don't know exactly what to do. They've got a long history though. They had partnerships with Ford and Nissan, Dodge, Hyundai. I'm guessing that's what this part of, it's probably part of a fleet vehicle. I'm guessing that's what CMA is. It's the only thing I can find on the internet about it. But we're trying to get this thing up to where it's safe to drive on the road. One of the biggest things is this rotted out storage cabinet. Ain't got no bottom in it. I was looking at trying to take this thing off and it's got four monstrous bolts in it back there. That seem like must maybe the rainwater must be going up into it because it's more rusty inside than it is outside. Coming off the tires I suppose. It's got two really good brackets. I'm going to try to get this out of here and do some work on it. Maybe make it look new again. Seems impossible. But I got some new lights. I've been working on the dash. I got the air pressure lights working on the dash. I'd take that apart. And I've got some new bulbs for that. I'm going to try them out. Got these little things. I had a bad switch in the dash. I put a temporary switch in it. Those are for the bed lights and the rear reverse lights. Try to see if I can get that put in there. Also got this. Well, that's a neat little wrapper. The bag was these things. They're dome lights, peel, peel dome lights. And they're LED. I believe they'll fit up here in this holder. Let me try some. Well, these fancy little LED bulbs don't work. LED. Should be all the way on over there. Door and then off. I got the key on. So, I don't know what the deal is. Well, that was a big fail. It's got new bulbs in it, but probably got a blown fuse somewhere. I, I've got a lot of electrical work yet to do on this. I'm going to try to switch this out now. I've got a, I guess it's just a cheap boat waterproof switch we can put in there. It's got a gasket on it and everything. I didn't have one to replace the original so I put this temporary one I'm gonna switch them out it's not going my way today the end broke off two for two well one light came on at some point this has been extra crispy it's been smoked I have to wrap that with some tape before I pop it back in there I decided to put some adhesive shrinky dinks on it. This is shrink tubed tubing that actually has adhesive in it. It'll shrink down there pretty tight. And it, where it has that adhesive, when you heat it up, the adhesive glues it on there where it won't slip. It's waterproof. I guess it's a type of marine shrink tubing just like the switch it's pretty cool stuff I got it on Amazon for just a few bucks and it's worth it I put it on the ends of my shoelaces when the ends of the shoelaces pulls off where it's got the glue in it it's just like the aglets that comes off of your shoelaces so it's pretty handy stuff it fits in there but it doesn't go all the way there's a big metal bar that runs across the dash that's a good thing we put the shrink tubing on it let's turn it on and see if the lights are on those aren't on, but they're unhooked, I believe. We've got one. Running all four of those halogen bulbs. I imagine that switch, it only had a 20 amp switch in it. I imagine it was going through some heat. What 
we're probably do is switch all these halogens out for LEDs. works anyway now we need to focus on getting this beast off here if you don't have one of these lights you need one they're made like the little snap-on lights they're magnetic on the bottom They'll stick about anywhere they're pretty bright and they're they gotta come with a charger and they stay charged a long time they're I think Amazon has these the work light brand there are two for $19 or two for 20 bucks or something like that. So you get two, two chargers, two USB cords. Let's see how we gonna get. We can see those bolts. Those things are nasty and they're monsters. will be held with such monster bolts I wouldn't I guess these plates you know, they look like they're part of the box hmm. well I'll either have to cut those plates loose or may have to cut the bolts This solves everything. I'll let them soak a minute. While I go get a jacket, I'm freezing. This got really cold. Hitch him one of these. Who needs a bolt that big for a toolbox? We got the. Giant Milwaukee impact. Let's see what it get on there. Here we go. Wow. It goes all the way through. Fantastic.
the impact wouldn't get it. Humongous breaker bars wouldn't get it. I used a little mini cutoff wheel and a Nut Buster 5000. Now I've got three more to go. I'm going to try to get these off with the impact. I haven't tried that side yet. These two's got to be cut. What fun. Well, this thing has kicked my butt. I've cut on that bolt. Can't get it loose. Got these two out. They were welded in the back, so they just came right out. This one over here, the welds broke loose in the back, and I can't get a wrench on it. So I'm trying to cut the bolt. It'd be a lot easier if I could drive the stud out, but it won't come out either. One left. I guess I'm going to quit on this thing for tonight. I guess we'll start back up on it in the morning. Ha. I beat you. <laughs> well, two of them's in good shape. The two ain't. What did I do with the boat? Oh, that, that thing. The chisel it. It was rusted right into the threads. Rough. more on the boat than I did the nut I believe it's done tomorrow we'll clean this up and make it pretty <laughs> <laughs>